Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Oliver Inquist, and today's video topic is how to set up the Helix as a pro. I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored, though I do clinics for Yamaha Line 6. So I want to thank Yamaha Line 6 for all this equipment. So let's dig in on how to set up the Helix as a pro so we can use it at its full potential. To set up the Helix, you have to go to the upper left corner and press the knob with three stripes on it. Then go to Global Settings. And the first setting we're going to look at is in In and Out on page 2. Here you see the Jack outputs and the XLR outputs. Both of these can be set to mic or line level. These settings determines how hot the signal is coming out of the jack outputs and XLR outputs. This is not something you have to deal with for now. I just want you to be aware that these settings exist. It's a setting I use at every gig or studio session. If there's a sound engineer at your gig or studio session, just ask him or her if they want a mic or a line level from you Helix. Just so you know, mic is weak and line is hot. When I say weak, it's not meant as a bad thing. It's just the term that is used for a low level. Moving on to the next setting, the volume knob control. It's found in in and outputs on page three. This knob I just want to get rid of. I would never use this knob in a live session because it affects the level that comes out of the helix. You can't determine if it's mic or line level that comes out of the helix if you use this knob. You can't disable the volume knob, but you can set it to a different output that isn't active. You can see that if you scroll on this volume knob control, you can set it to multi, so it affects all the outputs on the helix. You can set it to jack and XLR, just the jack, just the XLR, and the digital output. The digital output is the AES SPDIF. For now, I will just set this on the jack outputs. If you have some kind of speaker cabinet, like a power cab or another FR FR speaker, you can set the volume knob control to only controlling that speaker output. Just be aware that the power cap expects a line level. The point with disabling the volume knob control is that it should not affect the signal that goes out to front of house. Moving on to the next setting. If you're new to the snapshot mode, here is three quick settings that's good to know. The first setting we're gonna look at is in preferences. Here is the snapshot edits. The snapshot edits can be set to recall and discard. If you're on recall and you're on snapshot one and go to stompbox mode and add a delay, go back to the snapshot mode and let's pick another snapshot like snapshot three. Let's check the stompbox mode. Well, the delay is turned off. If we go back to snapshot one where we turned the delay on and go into Starbox mode, the delay is still on. If we do the same thing in discard mode, I'm on snapshot one, add a delay, and go to snapshot three, look at the Starbox mode, it's turned off, and then we go back to snapshot one, and the delay is turned off. I prefer the discard mode. The next setting is found on the foot switches. It's called preset mode switches. I prefer it set to eight snapshot. As you can see, I have eight snapshot at my front layer the whole time. It can also be set to eight presets or presets and stop boxes, etc., etc. 
the next setting is called stomp mode switches. It can be set to 8 switches and 10 switches. But you can see nothing happens. You have to go into the stomp box mode and here you can see that these two foot switches is turned into bank up and bank down. These can also be set to snapshot up and down and preset up and down. I prefer 10 switches. Now we're done setting the helix up and you can just hit the home button and it returns to your pedal board screen. The helix can be operated in three different modes, preset mode, stomp box mode and snapshot mode. And if you haven't already noticed, we set up the helix so you can use all three modes in a very fast and intuitive way. So you can see if I hit bank, my presets start to flash. Then I can go into preset one and here is my snapshot mode. And if I want to add some kind of effect, I can go into stomp box mode and add an effect. So snapshot mode, preset mode, stomp box mode, all three modes just at your feet. If you want to know more about why I prefer these settings, go check out the video, how to use the Helix as a pro. Here, I will explain a lot more about the snapshot mode and show you how I use the Helix in a playing situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're into guitar stuff or just guitars in general, please subscribe to my channel. Oliver Inquist signing out.